I have these salmon pinwheels from Trader Joe's and we are going to test them in the air fryer. The source of electricity for the air fryer is going to be the Pecron 1500. As you can see it's fully charged at 100%. We're going to go ahead and see how much battery it uses to cook these salmon pinwheel steaks in the good old air fryer. So we're going to get all this set up right now. Alright, so let's get these bad boys open and loaded. You know, like, why can't these be better packaged? Oh, what a mess. I'm trying not to damage them, like, at all. I, I gotta do a load test, unfortunately. That's one of the things to see if they'll fit. Because then this thing will require preheat. I had to make sure they were able to fit because my air fryer is smaller than normal. Now one of the things with my air fryer is you gotta turn it on. So let's go ahead and get the power on the pack run. There it goes. Now what's interesting is air fry uh, temperature 390 and then time 10 minutes. And we're gonna go ahead and hit start over on this side. Now it's in a preheat. All right, so you now the food. We're going to do this quick and try to keep it together. So while that's cooking, I just want to make a quick statement. I went to research this on YouTube to figure out how to make uh, stuffed salmon in the air fryer. And there's a few of them out there, but they're homemade with the salmon. And then there's a couple of them where they're shorts, but they didn't give the uh, time or temperature. They just said, they played that cheesy like vlog music and said, oh, you just stuff some salmon, throw it in the air fryer and yummy, yummy, yummy. But um, there was no one, that showed how to make pre-made salmon in the air fryer. A lot of grocery stores do this. The, the Trader Joe's thing I'm cooking right now, the pinwheels, they have it. I know a bunch of other grocery stores and even like Costco and, and Whole Foods has like pre-made stuffed salmon that you just throw in the air fryer, turn the temperature on and the time. Either something's wrong with the algorithm right now or there's not a single person that made a video on how to cook pre-made stuffed salmon. It, it was weird as saying, there's videos out there how to do it yourself and then some people click baited. So they said air fryer, but they actually didn't use air fryer. They use an oven or a crock pot or something, but there was nothing. There, there was like, and you figure this would be something that would be like a good hit. There was absolutely no one that made a video on it. it it's the weirdest thing. All right, we got th less than 30 seconds. Let's see how it goes. I can smell it. And this Instant Vortex Mini, it uh, requires you to flip the food, even if you don't set it automatically. And uh, uh, why red is you don't need to flip it, or and you probably don't want to. You'd mess up the whole pinwheel thing. So it's not flipped. But let's see how it turns out. I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty good, a little crisp on the sides, which I like. Yeah, perfect. How golden that is and everything. Oh yeah, that's good. I gotta get a thumbnail of that. That's thumbnail quality right there. Here's the final results. I'm really proud of it. And then this is what the, so for 10 minutes at 390 we've set it to, 83%. It does, the, using these um, things, they do use quite a bit of electricity. But if you have access to recharge your Pecron daily, you could probably do like two meals in an air fryer. And some meals only require four to five minutes, so it all depends.